Hey everybody, got a little bit of a different video for you today. Uh, my buddy Jose just dropped this off. It's like three or four pounds, three or four pounds of uh, artificial soft plastics and some jigs and stuff in here. So <laughs> I was like, okay. Um, but then I thought, hey, that might make a decent video. So what I think I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go and try to catch fish on all these different lures that are here. Now, one thing uh, that to know, and I'm going to spread these out so you, everyone can take a look at all of them, but these are um, a part of a big bulk lot that uh, Jose ended up buying when he first down first came down to the Keys. Uh, there was a retired uh, charter captain who I guess was leaving the Keys, so he ended up just going through all his stuff, grabbing all the saltwater fishing stuff, and just putting them in a big old pile. And then put a Craigslist ad, just, hey, I'm leaving, come buy my stuff, make me an offer type deal. So Jose went and checked it out, made him offer, and then ended up coming home with uh, four to five um, boxes. Well, actually, not just boxes, but bins, big bins full of just all the different kinds of fishing stuff this guy had accumulated. So... Uh, I have been chipping away at this little soft plastics. If you watch some of my videos, I've been using these little glittery uh, paddle tails that look like pilchards uh, while fishing the shark channel fun fishing, and I've been burning through those pretty good. So I told him to drop me by a few of those because he's been trying to wean through all this stuff, but then he ended up dropping off this big old bag full of stuff. So anyways, I, I figured, oh, what the hell, I'll go ahead and uh, maybe make this a, a fishing challenge to, to say. Um, one thing to know though is that this stuff is probably older than most of my viewers. I would say it's got to be some at least 10 year old, 5, 10, 15 year old stuff. Um, it's that old school plastic looking stuff. But the other angle on this video I think would be very good is um, there's a big proliferation these days and I kind of talk about it a lot when I say the fish don't care. Meaning, uh, I understand that fishing is a billion dollar industry, but for a lot of my viewers that are just either starting out or entry or not really heavily into it, just make sure you understand that a lot of stuff is made, now some stuff is made to catch fish, but a lot of stuff is made to catch fishermen. And what that means is that a lot of this stuff that is shiny and holographic and 3D and scientifically designed and scientifically made and new technology infused is just crap. It's made to hook you, the guy with the dollar bills and the credit cards, more than it is necessarily to catch fish. That's why you'll see a lot of these fads come and then you'll, they're the must have for that season but then you never see them again. So just kind of throw that little bit of a wrench in that kind of stuff is I've got all this old lure stuff. So I think I'm gonna just gonna take it out and kind of just show that it's more, if you understand the what fish are looking for, what causes fish to react, what really triggers fish to get that bite, then you'll be more apt to possibly kind of weed through all that marketing stuff and just get the core things that really do work that you're comfortable using and have confidence in using that you're going to catch fish with. So anyways, let's take this stuff out of here and you could take a look at what I've got. All right, let's take a look and go through some of this stuff. Well, these are the ones that I prefer that I really like. Uh, these are very much shaped just like a pilcher. It's got that silver fleck to it. But then again, if you look at this, this is really old school stuff. Just silver fleck flaked uh, plastics. No special 3D special colorations. But I know these things work exceptionally well. And these are the key things that I was wanting. Ah, some red and these are big, big fantails. Geez, these might be older than I am. Now, these are yum products. But uh, reddish, yellowish with a big fantail, not a paddle tail. That, that'll be a little bit unique to try. Get some of these bigger bags. 
Okay, so this has got a mixture of small, the chrome paddle tails, which will be pretty fun to try. Um, that matches a lot of that bait fish I find busting out on the uh, offshore stuff because they're eating those tiny minnows. Looks like we got some curly tail green grubs. Oh, it's a larger. That's a nice pilchard looking, although it's kind of mangy, but that's kind of what a pilcher looks like. White underbelly with sparkles along the top. And then a big bask of like a honey colored. Jeez, those are huge. These are going to be tarpon lures for days. I guarantee you I will get tarpon on this. So those will come in handy. That's going to save me a lot of money since I don't have to buy those damn expensive uh, hoagies. Yeah, some more of those fluorescent paddle tails, grubs. Looks like a little greenish mullet. One of those little mullet things. Again, just a blue and white of those uh, little small lures. More green uh, curly Q tails there. Not sure how green works. I really don't use green that much. Ah, some little uh, plastic hooks, eagle claw packs, one aught. Are they? Ah, these are, um, they've got that 90 degree bend in them for plastics. So this is the old school, old school hooks as well. Designed, first designs for plastics. They were like worm hooks basically. Some more of the big green. I don't know how green's going to go. I think the kings and the mackerels will eat these up. Definitely the jacks will eat that. So that'll be a different color to try. And we've got some gold flakes. These are, should work just as good as the silver for the pilchers. Um, I did catch that big mutton bouncing one of these along the bottom, so I do know that they'll hit, but I think it's more that paddle tail turns them on. Then we've got a bunch of jig heads. These are old school classics that all the charter guys use these days. Um, I remember when I was learning, this is over 10 years ago when I started fishing the Keys with a guide uh, teaching me this is all we used for the wrecks and vertical jigging and uh, bottom fishing. Uh, either ripping them up, casting them out, letting them drop, and then ripping them back up. Or we would put a big chunk of ballyhoo or um, squid and bounce them along the bottom of uh, any rocky structures or uh, rock piles. Just cast them out with a big plug of chunk of meat on them. Use those quite a bit. These little guys are good for um, dolphin just get a lot of distance on them. They're small. They go just like these little small soft plastics, but with that big head, you can cast these a mile and then also rip them back whatever speed or just have them drop down if you want to. And like these guys are just basically old grouper jigs and uh, bottom wreck jigs, old school stuff. You could put a, a cut bait on them or you put a big curly uh, paddle tail on there and run that as a grouper bait for days. So that is the stuff we're gonna use. Um, I'm gonna target a bunch of stuff and try to catch a little bit of everything. Now, I'm not gonna just do, well, I might spend tomorrow just using these, but then uh, other times I'll just take out a few of them and just bring it up on the video when I do catch it. So we're out here just kind of uh, waiting it out a bit. Got a late start, forgot to uh, charge the battery for my fish finder. So we're going to see if the water clears up a little bit and maybe make a run out. Uh, if not, no big deal. We might do some inshore stuff. Water's really murky already because the uh, incoming winds with uh, uh, opposite tides and it turns stuff up really bad. That's never really good. But I've got all my, uh, well not all of them, a good assortment of plastics that I want to start uh, working on Look how pretty it shines in the uh the sun but as you can see this all this these kind of patterns where they basically take plastic dump a bunch of flakes in it is very old school but very effective i should have brought my cast net and seen if i can get some pilchards 
so I could line it up with these to see how natural they actually look. But a uh, bunch of just different colors, different sizes. So I'm just gonna fool around here a bit and just see if I can bend the rod a little bit. And I might be doing a catch and cook on Jack Cavell. Might as well get that out of the way. We've got a six day, 30 plus knot wind uh, week. So not gonna be much fishing. So might as well get a few uh, different clips on board. So let's see what we can do. Well, the lure testing was a bust. Uh, I decided to make the run offshore just so I can get some good footage for this weekend. But the current was like ripping out there. It was uh, three knots blowing me and then the current was even faster than that. So no way I could use any of that stuff that I had. So I just did some normal vertical jigging. But uh, what are you gonna do? So we'll keep plugging away at those plastics and I'll just let you know when I'm using them. So but anyways, end of the day, heading back in. It was pretty rough say the least. So anyways, thanks for watching and uh, see you next video.